Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? I'm doing another resin swipe because I'm having so much fun with these. And for some reason, they're turning out a lot better than they usually do. And I think it's because I'm using this uh, uh, wax paper as a um, as a swipe uh, tool. Um, I'm just trying to get this thing where it won't all run off. Um, this time, I'm going to swipe with some gold. Uh, I've got a, a neat embellishment, I think, that um, I'm going to use. And this is Eye Candy's 14 karat gold. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I mean, it's gorgeous. So this time, I'm going to do a center swipe. So I'm gonna lay down a, a good bit of gold right there in the middle. And then I want, this is um, my new black diamond pigment. It's technically, it's turquoise. And it's really pretty, I love it. And I've been using it now for a couple of days. So I've done several with it and it's been just beautiful, everything I've done. I think it's just turned out really beautiful with it. Um, this is some color shift. I guess it's black, but it's almost like a deep bronze to me. Um, and um, and some pigment, some brown. It's just plain brown, and it's some off-brand uh, pigment. I couldn't even tell you the name, um, but I think it is pretty um, with that paint added to it. It's, um, I think that's neat. Uh, and then I have, this is really thick, um, but it is bronze. Um, it's uh, partly paint, um, partly um, deco art, bronze, antique bronze, paint it comes in the tub like the 24 karat gold does and I added some gold uh, some 10 karat gold eye candy to it because it was really dull um, and it had it just to give it some flakes of shimmer in it you know it just didn't didn't look very shimmery or pretty you know the color I just didn't like it so that's very thick I added um, I added a little to it. This is a beautiful color too. I found some really neat pigments over the last, over the years of experimenting and this is gorgeous. Uh, this is a combination of McCall Green and um, Okinawa Blue, also eye candy colors. Um, but look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I think it's just really beautiful. Now, should have plenty of resin because this is the same amount I've been using. Um, I just haven't put it all out yet, I guess. Oh yeah, I've got my copper here. All right. This is a May spring pigment and it's called like diamond copper or something like that. Cause it's got these little diamond like flakes in it too. Um, look at how gorgeous that color is. Wow. I mean, it just pops, you know, all of these just pop. They're just beautiful colors. Um, I used to not think pigments were really the way to go with resin, you know, and I always added paint to my pigment for a long time. And then I think what I had been doing wrong with it was I wasn't adding enough pigment when I was mixing it. And that's part of what the problem was. They were never this bright, you know, they just kind of didn't pop. And uh, I think that's what I was doing wrong is I just wasn't um, wasn't adding enough. Um, so I I started uh, being real not being as frugal about it and and you know adding more and um, that has made a big difference. Um, also, I, 
you know, I have spent money on expensive pigments instead of buying, you know, uh, cheaper pigments. I've gone ahead and, you know, sprung for the, you know, um, color art uh, is one of my favorites. They're also, I think, one of the most expensive. Um, eye candy is would be next in line as far as I'm concerned, as far as my favorites, as well as the cost because they're about the same. Um, they're both pretty expensive. Um, I got a little gold left here. I'll spread some down there. Um, and then there's, um, you know, all the, uh, there's a lot of others, you know, but I think that color art is probably the best. Um, you know, primary elements is probably the best. Lumiere are pretty good, uh, but color art and eye candy are my favorites. Um, I just think they work best. I don't like that piece. Okay. Now, isn't that beautiful? Look at how pretty that is. Wow. Okay. So I've been doing these swipes. Um, but this one is a little different because I'm doing this from a center swipe. Um, I've been doing just regular top to bottom ones. Um, I just wanted to do something different, a little bit different. I don't want really, um, have as good of results with my resin flip cups as I do with swipes. Um, I mean, I can do them, but I, I just don't, uh, I don't prefer them as far as, you know, the way they turn out. I, I think the swipes just seem to turn out better. And, um, that a little bit better down there at the bottom. All right, now let's do this other side. And this is wax paper that I'm using. It's my favorite swipe tool when it comes to resin. Um, it's hard finding something that will deal with the thickness, you know, of resin. Um, I love parchment paper for regular swipes, but it's not thick enough to deal with resin. It doesn't work very well. It'll work, but it doesn't work as well. Um, the other thing is, it's important to keep it really parallel to your substrate. You know, if you lift off, lift up, um, it'll do that. It'll, you know, it'll separate. And you don't want that. Like that, that's what will happen. It's hard for me to reach like this. There, got it there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's torch it. That gold is just amazing. Oh, I gotta add more juice to this. Hold on, I need to order some more of that. I need to order some more of that because I'm running low and you don't want to run out of juice I got my big torch over there and it's fully loaded but um, it sets off my alarm every time I use it not just when I use it on resin but when I use it on anything it will always set it off it may go off this time it goes off a lot when I'm torching resin so it could go off uh, if it does it'll stop uh, just give it a minute I try to warn y'all every time I do one of these, you know, just in case that happens, because it could happen. It does happen. Lately it hasn't, but it does. I keep trying to use this one paint with resin and it just won't work. It's with uh, Deco Art Teal. I don't know if y'all had that problem or not, but um, every time I add that paint to the resin, it gums, <coughs> it 
hyper activates it comes up you know um it just won't work i don't know why okay let's tilt this baby a little bit and see what happens it's my favorite part seeing what all is going to reveal itself how things will change look at that oh pretty I really want that teal um, to show through a lot. You'll see why when you see the embellishment. Where's that blue? Oh, that's the turquoise. Okay. I was like, where's that blue coming from so much? a little bit. I'm not too worried um, about the sides on these because when you um, if you've coated everything there's a corner exposed over there I need to get but if you've covered everything like doing a swipe you know if you've covered everything it's going to usually end up being okay. Let me get that corner a little bit though. <sighs> Right now, I, I'm doing what I usually do. I'm just wanting to mix it a little bit, swirl it a little bit, get the colors to interact. Um, I don't see anything exposed that I need to cover. So I'm probably not gonna mess with it too much more. I like the way it looks. Um. Just getting that corner down there a little bit. Okay. I wanted to. I want to get rid of that bow in the middle if I can, but I don't think I can. It's okay. The embellishment's gonna go right there anyway. That's really pretty. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good to me. I like it. All right. Let's uh, uh, again real quick. Um, I believe that that. Um, Resi Blast does not really activate unless you torch really good. I might be wrong. I don't know that. I haven't read that or anything. I just know that for me, in my experience, there have been times when it's almost like you don't, you know, you haven't even used it. I mean, it's like it doesn't even do anything. Um, and other times it seems to really, really just kick ass. And I think part of it has to do with whether or not you torch it really good. See that? Um, that's my embellishment. I love it. Uh, okay, let me get it down where y'all can see it. I think that's beautiful. Awesome. I'm really happy with it. And I have farmer market, farmer's market tomorrow, but um. No, these are going to be ready for that in time, of course, because they got to dry, but cure, but, um, that's one thing you got to watch is these things will migrate when you put your embellishments on, push them down, 
as good as you can, but they'll still move. You know, you have to really keep your eye on them. All right, let's see. Look at it. I love those colors, especially well, I can't even say especially. I love them all. <laughs> uh, I think they're all beautiful. Wow. Neat. That gold just looks like gold. I mean, it looks like you just dropped a bunch of gold right there in the middle of it. Can y'all see that? See, it's got the teal in it and the browns and all that. I hope you can tell. It's really pretty. Well, thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Um... And supporting my channel, it's very, uh, it's great to have people interested in what you're doing. And I love talking about art. So if anybody, you know, if you have any suggestions or comments or criticisms, whatever, I'm open for it. You know, I, uh, I enjoy uh, knowing what's on people's minds, and um, it means a lot to me that you take the time, you know, out of your day to let me know, you know, what you're thinking. Um, especially if you like it, everybody loves hearing things like that. You know, I won't lie. Um, but if, uh, anything you have to say, you know, um, tell me what you're up to. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm just happy to hear from people. All right, you guys. Um, I mean, I believe that that's a, a big part of what this platform should be about is, you know, just meeting new people and helping each other out and supporting each other and, you know, having fun. So thank y'all for being here and, um, join me next time. Have a great day. All of you new subscribers, thank you so much. I've had quite a few new subscribers lately, and you guys are making my week. Weeks. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thanks.